So Glenn, what time does the bus get here? I think it's scheduled for 3.48 p.m. The exact time those savage, socialist natives threw the tea into New York Harbor in 1742. Glenn, it was the colonialists, not the Indians. And it was Boston Harbor, not New York. And it was in 1773. Anyway, who has agreed so far to join our Stir It Up tour? Hey, can I go? I like buses. No, Mr. President, that wouldn't be productive. Michelle takes up too many seats with HRE entourage. Well then, what about me? No, Hillary, but we will be inviting Monica Lewinsky to be the Stir It Up in turn. Sarah, have you seen the Reverend Jeremiah Wright yet? You betcha Glenn. The Reverend Jeremiah, Reverend Al Sharpton, and Reverend Jesse Jackson are loading the chickens on the bus now so that they can come home to roost during the finale. Bristol and Trey are supervising them. I hope that isn't too many reverends for them. Okay, let's have a roll call. So we have the three reverends. Check. What about Rush Limbaugh and Donald Trump? Of course. They are in the lead helicopter. Al Gore and David Gregory. They are following behind us in the Toyota Prius. What about the most honorable Louis Farrakhan? No, he's too crazy, even for this tour. Plus, we already have our limited reverend-like creatures. Come on guys, what about me? I love buses. They remind me of my Muslim childhood years in Indonesia. I said no, Mr. President. Sorry. Anyway. David Gregory says you are not a Muslim. Not that there is anything wrong with that. But he says you are not. It would be fine if you were. But he says you most assuredly are not. David Gregory can spot a racist a mile away, and they are all Republicans. So you're cool. Okay boys, we have a full house. Let's roll. We got some stirring to do.